man who just picked up his 200th career victory and, more importantly, is back in the NCAA tournament with a Mac Commonwealth Championship win. He is Coach Paul Cantabene. Coach, first of all, congratulations both on the championship and on win number 200. I know, uh, you know we're not going to go too much into personal accolades, but it's it's got to be somewhat meaningful to you. Well, it's always great when you, you hit those milestones and type of numbers, but it's really not about me and the 200 wins. It's about really all the people that go into, especially the university, Kevin Manning, when he first came here hiring me, giving me the opportunity, and all the guys from the, the president's cabinet to the admissions people to all the players that have played with us. We've been very lucky to have some very, very talented guys that have played with us, and uh, it's great, and it's really all about you know the people you work with, and especially I just mentioned to the team, Tim Paul, who's been with me for 13 years, and you know Tim's done such a great job uh, the whole time. So it's a great thing to do, but you know we got more work to do, uh, but it's always good to hit that, and I think it's more important for the program type thing of how far we've come. You know, when I first got here, I thought my record would be 56 and 200, <laughs> not 256. So, you know, it's it's nice to, to see what we have accomplished at Stevenson in just a short 13 years. It's, it's truly a miracle of what we, where we came from to where we are now. Coach, uh, back to the game tonight. Obviously, it was a big win for you. Another conference championship. It's five in a row, I believe. Talk about the seniors that stepped up tonight in tonight's game and what that means for you heading into the NCAAs. Well, you know, it's really great to see Ross down and play well. You know, he's a guy that, you know, he struggled a little bit, not to tell you the truth, a little bit, and we're there. But, you know, he stepped up, and his play in the last three games have really been outstanding. You know, he's stepped up and done what he's case. He wants to practice the next day. He's given it all, and he understands what it means to be a senior. You know, Dylan Harris, and, you know, even though he's not a senior, he played outstanding tonight. Drew Kermode played outstanding. Tyler Furman, the big goal at the end of the quarter, you know, making those plays. Those are guys that, you know, you can say in Young, another senior, just playing so hard, understanding. I mean, you can't even run by him defensively, and he's a short stick, and he's doing such a great job. So those seniors are really starting to kind of understand that, you know, this is any day can end, and they want to keep practicing. I think that's the biggest thing we want to practice. You know, our guys want to come out every day and, and give the give the effort and the sweat and be together. They don't want to do that, and that's what's the tough part about the NCAA tournament is that it can end any day, and uh, you really got to go, and, and the team's going to be different from when that ends, and you got to cherish every moment you have together. So those seniors understand that a little bit and think we're getting great play, especially out of, you know, know, Donna Frio, you know, I think he started out a little slow today, and then he's like, I got to pick it up. And, and I thought he was flat out great drawing slides and moving it and playing just tough. And uh, he hit some big shots. He probably could have had a few more, he'll tell you, but he still played great. Team was tested in the first quarter. Obviously, yeah. if you fell behind, <laughs> one, yeah. Yeah, all right, that's yeah. that's tested. Yeah. Do you think that can benefit you that, you that you were faced with a test like that and that they answered it the resounding way that they did? Well, we've done a good job all year in getting behind, coming back. I think we've done a really good job of that. And I think the guys understand it's a long game. And we got down and we, we made some dumb plays. Chaz misses the ground ball one all by himself and they make a play and they score a goal and you know they, we gave up some dumb things like that and we got to do better you know and offensively we had some good shots and I give him credit their goal he played the best game of his of his uh, young career and he did a great job and made some big saves while we were putting pressure on him and you know when time plays zone it takes a while to break it down a little bit and I think we did a good job with it and uh, but it was a good day and uh, we're happy to win our fifth one and uh, hopefully we'll have a few more here Coach, with uh, the tournament coming up soon, obviously selection Sunday tomorrow. What do you expect uh, from seeding wise from the tournament, from the committee, and where you guys might be playing? <laughs> you want me to predict what the NSA committee is going to do? <laughs> I haven't predicted that in a while. Um, but um, you know, it's going to be interesting with uh, some of the upsets that happened today. Uh, uh, what's going to happen? You know, especially with Cortland losing and Bates losing, and uh, tomorrow in the NSCAC championship game, if, you know, Middlebury wins is really going to put uh, the committee in a situation to where these pool C's are going to go and what's going to happen. So uh, you know, we're just excited to be in it. We could get a home game you know we've had a pretty good regional uh, ranking and stuff or we could be on the road but for now we're just happy to be in it we'll go anywhere with the tell us to play we'll play and we'll look forward to it and uh but i think our guys are excited to be back in it and uh, for the um i think this is our ninth straight year being in the NSA tournament so uh i think only eight other teams have been in the tournament for nine straight years like we have and that's a, just another kind of great thing we've been able to accomplish and not many teams win five conference championships in a row no matter what the conference is and that's still a great accomplishment for us all right before we let you go i just found out uh last night that your brother is a ref <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. I didn't know that either. Yeah, and I've so, known how. The, uh, I mean, we know uh, uh, your relationship with refs. That's great. Uh, um, tremendous, ref <laughs> tremendous relationship with refs. I actually we get know. together. <laughs> I did ask the referee in the end. He goes, "Why does he call so many things against us? Is because you slice the golf ball so much?" And he didn't find that uh, as funny as me. But I thought it was pretty funny. But um, no, Rob, my brother Rob's. You know, he's. Uh, you know, we're kind of like. Uh, you ever see the movie Twins? Yeah. You know, like I'm kind of like. You know, I'm six foot, and my brother's five foot four, and so. Uh, 
Um, it's, we're kind of like the complete opposites. And uh, I have hair. He's bald. Uh, you know, I'm funny. He's not. You know, so it's uh, no. But Rob's a great guy. Hang on. In, in your heart, when you see him, do you just immediately go to yelling at him? Or no, no. He actually calls me and tells me to lighten up sometimes. Or he goes, hey, that was a good call. Or you should do this or that. But, you know, it's great that he's official. That's what he wants to stay involved in the game. You know, he went to Elmira College, and he wanted to stay involved. And he's been moving up all the time. So he had the Clarkson RIT game the other day. So he's moving up. And hopefully he'll get some Division One games here. And he does a great job. You know, I kind of kidded with Jay Kuhn. I t uh, texted Jake and go, hey, I don't think my brother helped you out. I didn't blow the whistle all game. He goes, that's the way I like it. I thought he did, thought he did a great job. <laughs> so, uh, but, you know, he does a great job. So, Rob, keep it up. And uh, we're proud of you. And just keep, keep it up. Well, we're proud of another conference championship here. Uh, hopefully at home on Wednesday night, hopefully wherever we'll it is. We'll see you there, all right? Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it. Congratulations, Coach. Right, Coach Rob, Paul Cantabana. Yeah.